what is going on guys today we have another future star review we are nearly halfway through all of these reviews hopefully we're going to get the whole way through before the end of the week um, i really wanted to get all these up before wednesday so we'll see what happens we'll see if they bring any new ones out but we have Cortrone today coming up next <laughs> So we have Cutrone, I'm going to say it that way, I don't know if it's the right pronunciation for him, but that is how it, it says in my head. And you can pick this card up for around about 300 to 350k. He is an 89 striker from AC Milan. He has been upgraded from a 77 non-rare. So again, really nice upgrade, very nice for AC Milan, definitely. Um, to pick up a couple of, well, I think they got a couple actually, got this one and the right back, which the name just escapes my memory. I know it begins with Cal and that's about it, but we will get into some basic information of this card. So he sits at four foot, uh, four foot, no, six foot. I read the four star skill moves, which is what I'm going to go into next. He has got three star weak foot as well as, and he has a right foot. His work rates are high attacking work rates with a medium defensive work rates and he is only 21 years old so he fits the caliber very nicely. Then we go into some basic attributes for you. We have 86 pace, 89 shooting, 87 dribbling and 85 physical. So overall really nice striker i think that the stats look really really good to, to on the face value i'm really happy with this card i think what what did he get the upgrade from he got a plus 15 shooting plus 10 pace plus 14 physical and plus 13 dribbling so you can't argue with this card and look at the card design the card design is absolutely impeccable it's really really nice this year um i think they've definitely done something really special with the cards this year and I, I'm, I'm very much enjoying every single promo that comes out but we'll get into some in-depth attributes now he's got 86 pace with 84 acceleration 87 sprint speed well personally I, what did I put on him? I think I put a finisher or a marksman. Or I think I put a marksman or a sniper on, actually. I don't think I put finisher on this card. Just because the 89 shooting already was pretty pretty solid. So I thought, you know what? Let's get a bit of dribbling and physical. I don't need to focus too much on the shooting. And I thought the pace would be enough. Personally, I would definitely probably stick a hunter on this card. Or at least something that's pace related. Just because he felt... It just didn't feel as, as fast as the others. I think with 86, I thought, you know what? He's going to be okay. He felt a little bit sluggish for me. And looking at the sprint speed, he's got 87. So I didn't really quite gather why he just felt a little bit off the mark. Maybe it was because of the other players around him that do have plus 90 pace. But I just found that he was a little bit sluggish getting off the mark and getting back up to top speed. Um, and that's something that I really struggled with. Um, obviously... A lot of people in this FIFA use a, a lot of pacey players. It's not necessarily a, an overall advantage as more than likely if I played 15 to 20 games with him, you'd learn the the card's characteristics, what his, what his negatives and what his positives are in a huge or greater detail and you'll learn how to play with him. So I weren't too, I weren't too bothered by that one. I thought, you know what, he, ha he, he, was, he was okay at his pace, but for me after I think five or six games, not the quickest on the turn, which really put a little bit of a downfall on him. But to bring that back up to a really good positive, his shooting was incredible. He has 96 attacking positioning, 96 finishing as well, which is really nice. 89 shot power, 86 volleys and 81 penalties. So overall shooting wise was absolutely fantastic. I thought he had a very clinical finish. Um, I think there was one clip where he just, I think the keeper passes it to him. And he just cuts inside, little finesse over the keeper. And it is just very good with that. When it comes to actually producing a shot, I thought he was he was very good at that. Um, definitely would try out his shooting. Um, if you can get him in the right option, get the one-twos on the go. Give him a bit of space. Necessarily not too much on the long shots as he only has 74. But if you manage to get probably just at edge of box or then creeping in, definitely give him give him the go don't don't pass it around a keeper just absolutely smash it and more than likely i'd say at least eight times out of ten this is going in then we move on to his dribbling another really nice stat that i did enjoy 
87 overall, which entails 81 agility, 89 balance, 87 reactions, 89 ball control, 87 dribbling, and 84 composure. So again, it's a really nice stat, and I thought it definitely played how it how it looked on the face value. He was just managing to weave in and out of the players um, really, really nicely. Um, I think the pace slowed him down a little bit, and I think that's where the difference between, say, putting Junior up front and him. They both have the same kind of striking ability and dribbling, but Junior has the pace, which I think this this card with maybe a Hunter card on him would be absolutely terrifying to go against. Um, I think that would definitely uh, increase his shooting as well a little bit more, which, again, makes it even more clinical. So... If you was to get this card, Chemstyle, I'd definitely go for the Hunter. If not the Hunter, I'd probably say, is it Hawk that gets physical shooting and pace? Um, or some just something that relies on the pace a little bit more. Um, and I think this card will definitely be a new fan favorite. Then we go on to the final stat, and that is 85 physicality, which gives you 89 jumping, 86 stamina, and 88 strength. 86 stamina, one of the lower ends coming to the future reviewers now. Um, personally... Didn't really see too much of a difference with him. He was still able to go pretty much the whole game. Um, obviously, if you was in a real game not reviewing him, I more than likely would take him off towards, say, the 70th minute just to get some fresh legs anyway. Um, and that's only because if I'm bringing someone on, I'm not taking Ronaldo off and I probably wouldn't take Ibra off. So that's probably the only reason why he would come off. If not, it's just literally for fresh legs, not because he physically can't do anything anymore. But that was pretty much pretty much his game plan. He has a 2,146 in-game stats overall. Again, one of the lower ones of the ones we've been reviewing recently. I think normally they're ranging from the, to the same mid 2-2s two to the, the high-end 2-3s, two 2-4s, two which is one of the lower rated ones. But he isn't... I don't think he is in the starting lineup. Oh, no, he is. He's, he's the starting striker, which is very interesting because we do have a few of the strikers to review um, coming very shortly. I think that is the Everton man... Cl uh, what is it? Claver Lewin? No. Um, I'm, I'm butchering that already. I'm going to learn that after. And then you've got jo Jovic. I, I'm just not doing very well with these striker names. I'm going to just have to stick to English players like Dave. <laughs> but anyway... Going into the overall review of him, personally, I found him somewhat okay. I, I think there is definitely better strikers out there, and for 300k, there is a few that I'd rather choose over him. There is a lot of competition in the striker area, especially if you have been keeping up to date with your flashbacks, with your special untradables, because there is loads of them. You've got Tevez, Pato, you could put Gertz up front, you have a Bamiang's player of the month, you have Ibra, you have... Oh, God, they're, they're just even the special cards. There's normal cards, Griezmann, Suarez, all of them pretty much you could get for under 300k or maybe just a bit over. I don't think any more, any of them were more than 500k. So he's in a very flooded market of positions, really. I think the only thing that he's got going for him uh, that is link-wise is the fact that he is Italian and he can link with Ronaldo. He can link with Higuain or um, uh, what's it, Immobile. So there is that element of him. But personally, I probably wouldn't pick him up just because there is an absolute loads of strikers just available at my artillery. So overall rating, I'm giving him an 8.6. I thought he was really good when I played with him. The only probably downfall is the... The necessarily the, the the position for him. I think if he was, say, a cam with them stats, you can obviously put him in cam, but originally I'd like him as a striker, so I'm going to mark him down just on the fact that there is so many strikers out there that are better for the price, so that's more the market's kind of problem with him. But as an overall player, I think he's very solid. Pace could be a little bit more, but that could be sorted out with a chem style. Passing-wise isn't the greatest but it depends on what you want your striker for i think passing is a huge element in this game and i don't think many players can just run through defenses anymore so with that said i think that is probably his biggest downfall apart from that everything else is pretty much solid so definitely go try and pick him up let me know what you think down below make sure you like this video see if we can get to 10 likes on this video subscribe for more player reviews and i'll see you all again next time